Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Nim. Today, pag-aaralan natin ang divisibility rules for 4, 8, 11, and 12. Paano ba natin masasabi na ang isang number ay divisible sa isang whole number? Ito ay kung madidivide natin sila ng exacto or without any remainder. Natutulungan tayo ng divisibility rules na alamin kung divisible ba yung number by another whole number without actual division. Alright, so let us start. Divisibility rule for 4. If the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4, then the original number is divisible by 4. Also, numbers ending in two zeros are divisible by 4. Okay, so I have here examples. 4,312. Sabi dito sa divisibility rule ng 4, kung yung number daw na ma-form dun sa last two digit ay divisible by 4, then the original number is divisible by 4. Ano ba yung last two digits ng 4,312? 12 is divisible by 4. Diba yung 12 ay ang last two digits ng 4,312? 12 is divisible by 4. Kasi pag dinivide natin yung 12 by 4, the answer is 3. Exacto. Kaya yung 12 ay divisible by 4. Next, let's have another. 23,244. Ano ba yung last two digit ng 23,244? 44, right? 44 is divisible by 4. Kasi pag dinivide natin yung 44 by 4, the answer is 11. Exacto pa rin. Next, let's have 48,200. It ends with two zeros. Diba sabi dito, numbers ending in two zeros are divisible by 4. Dito natin, ang isang number ay divisible by 4 kung yung last 2 digits niya ay divisible by 4. At kung yung number ay nagtatapos sa dalawang zero, then the number is divisible by 4. Now, let's proceed to divisibility rule for 8. If the number formed by the last 3 digits is divisible by 8, then the original number is divisible by 8. Also, numbers ending in 3 zeros are divisible by 8. Examples 4,124,328 Diba masyadong malaki yung number? Para hindi na tayo gumawa ng actual division para malaman natin kung yung number ba na yan ay divisible by 8, sundin na lang natin yung divisibility rule para sa 8. 328 is divisible by 8. Kinuha natin yung last 3 digit nung given number. 328 is divisible by 8 because 328 divided by 8 is equal to 41. Sakto yung sagot, kaya divisible siya by 8. Next, 1,056,864. Kuhanin natin yung last 3 digits. So we have 864. 864 is divisible by 8 because 864 divided by 8 is equal to 108. So, sakto pa rin ang sagot natin. Next, let's have 1,502,000. The number ends in 3 zeros. Therefore, 1,502,000 is divisible by 8. Ulitin natin. Ang isang number daw or ang isang whole number ay divisible by 8 kung yung last 3 di digits nito ay divisible by 8. At kung yung number naman na yon ay nagtatapos sa tatlong zeros, divisible din siya by 8. Next, let's have divisibility rule for 11. If the sum of the digits in the add places and the sum of the digits in the even places are equal or their difference is a multiple of 11. Paano ba to? Okay, so let's have these given examples. 1,529. I-add natin yung 1 and 2. Yung dalawang red. Okay? 
So, i-alternate lang natin kung ano i-add natin. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And then, yung 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. Ngayon, yung 14 na yan, i-deduct natin dyan or i-subtract natin dyan yung answer natin kanina na 3. 14 minus 3 is equal to 11. Diba sabi? Sabi dito sa divisibility rule for 11, kung yung sum daw ng digits ng add places at yung sum ng digits ng even places are equal or their difference is a multiple of 11. Since hindi naman sila equal, pero yung difference nila is a multiple of 11. Therefore, 1,529 is divisible by 11. Let's have another. 6,468. Now, i-add natin yung 6 and 6. And that is 12. Next, i-add naman natin yung 4 and 8. And that is 12. 12 is equal to 12. Sabi natin kanina, kapag do in-add natin yung digits in the add places at yung digits in the even places at equal ito, o kaya naman yung difference nila is multiple of 11, then the number is divisible by 11. Alright, let's have another. 143. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. And then, yung natira na 4 ay equal dun sa sum nung 1 plus 3. Alright? Ulitin natin, divisibility rule for 11 Kung in natin yung add places at yung sum nun ay equal dun sa total nung uh, even places, o kaya naman yung difference nila ay multiple of 11, then the number is divisible by 11. Next, let's have divisibility rule for 12. A number is divisible by 12 if the last two digits in the number is divisible by 4, and the sum of the digits in the number is divisible by 3. So, paano ba natin i-check ito? Let's have this given example. 864. 64 is divisible by 4. Kinuha lang natin yung last two digit dun sa number. And that is 64. 64 is divisible by 4. Because 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16. So, sakto siya. Ang sabi dito sa divisibility rule sa 12, kung yung last two digit daw dun sa number ay divisible by 4 at yung sum daw ng digits dun sa number ay divisible by 3. So, tignan naman natin kung divisible by 3 yung sum ng tatlong digits. So, you have 8 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 18. And 18 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 864 is divisible by 12. Next, let's have 15,324. Ano ba yung last two digits nung given number natin? We have 24. And 24 is divisible by 4 because 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. Now, i-add natin lahat ng digits dun sa given number. We have 1 plus 5 plus 3, plus 2, plus 4, is equal to 15. And 15 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 15,324 is divisible by 12. I hope natuto kayo sa tutorial video ko na to, at sana natulungan ko din kayo sa pag-aaral ng divisibility rule for 4, 8, 11, and 12. Kung natuto sa tutorial video na to, ilike lamang ang video na to and please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng tutorial videos ko. Thank you and stay healthy!